Hello, my name is Jiawei Peng, the founder of Each. Since I graduated last September, uh, I work with engineers and designer marketer with Facebook, Amazon, and Microsoft to build a product called Each. Um, Each is a one-stop solution for global knowledge, uh, first for Chinese uh, young students. Let's start it. Before I tell you what is Each, um, let's guess how, what percentage of Chinese people can read English fluently? Only 3%. So uh, besides people have language and access barrier, people, uh, Chinese people have information overload and knowledge fragmentation. Let's see how can we solve it one by one. First, we build a crawlers uh, and content database then translate the article automatically from the users. And then instead of accepting uh, content uh, passively, we build a classification filter that can enable users to filter out content by themselves. And third, knowledge fragmentations. Actually, we ran those content from, uh, we divided those, uh, we, uh, we actually categorized those things into influencers, articles, and materials, and rank those based on community review. Let's see an example. Here's our uh, artificial intelligence. And beside people, uh, beside people can see the top three articles, people actually can find 67 articles total today and can filter out based on the category, lens, uh, language, and sources. After that, they can find the best articles, source, and um, videos, audios, and book, and the influencers all together in one place and even track influencers like Li Feifei together. Um, let's see our competitive landscape. So on the left-hand side, there's an online education and knowledge platform. We think those two are competing each other in the one dimension. No matter it is a content quality, content quantity, or it is competing user's time. But we are really close to the search engine. We actually can offer much more uh, functions and efficiency than the search engine. And we are more focused. First, we focus on students that are 18 to 25 year old uh, young professionals. And those students uh, contribute 50% of the paid knowledge, not including, uh, not including the education market. And then we, were, we will provide a one-stop learning plan for those students uh, to give them what to learn, how to learn, and why to learn. So here's our business model. Uh, we business model have three parts, commissions, service fee, and advertisement. For service fee, uh, we actually produce, uh, provide, generate the personalized study plan and learning package for users. And the user, and we charge the commissions and service fee actually from the businesses. And little background for me, uh, my last company earned $55,000 in six months. It's, our news, uh, it's a, a study board agency, and my, um, my team comes from Facebook, Microsoft, Possibles, Amazons, and we have a top investor, uh, we have a top advisors from Wuhan University and University of Washington. Besides that, we have a master team, a team of masters who can teach, who can generate uh, short content for the bachelor, for the young people like us. Uh, the other guy mentioned in there the challenge of the Great Firewall, and yeah, sounds like your business has to navigate that. Yeah, uh, we we don't have a uh, we don't have a legal issue uh, because the Chinese government allow people to study, but they don't want to they don't want to control what they see. So we will regulate pretty hard, and we don't want to touch some sensitive areas like political, like LGBT issues. We only focus on learning. And the, the learning, we divided learning by three parts. One is education. That one is like English and math. And the other part is just news. And the second part is news. It seems like a knowledge, but it's kind of news knowledge. So we focus on the third part. So uh, for that, the online education mark, the online education will focus on the first part. Those are really slow and expensive to develop, but we are so fast and can synchronize in 10 seconds. Your, your translator, um, I, I use WeChat Translate, I use Google Translate, I mean, there's all different meetings. I, what's your idea about doing it yourself versus yeah, using Yeah, but translation, uh, but machine translation, I feel like it will be a water in the future. 
in the last two or three day, uh, in what, two or three years. So in 2016, the translation quality is like 47 percent, and then in last year, Google is like 54 percent, and this year, last month, uh, Microsoft. Uh, did a great translation, and right now the score is 69%. So I feel like the tra machine translation is like a water in the future. So we will embed this technology first and go to the market. So we will uh, launch our mini program in the next two weeks. Um, really uh, forward you guys to try. Yeah, um, you know, the paid learning market is a very crowded market, and uh, I wonder if you have done any pilot with your target customer students, yeah, exactly. and what are the feedbacks to make you believe that's the proof point for your upcoming product release? Uh, we will we will release the product in uh, first five industry, uh, five domains, like the emerging technology domains. Those domains, the young people really love it, and when people see our categorized leaderboard, the influencers, the books, the things, people are getting crazy. People say they can open the horizons instantly and search and understand this, uh, understand this field in maybe one hour. So I feel like to, to open their horizon is our first step. How many All students right. have you tried? Yeah, uh, 100. And we had the, like 500 interviews, uh, 500 question area, and 70, uh, 70, 70, 70 old students one-on-one -on -one interview. <laughs>